one is Miss Prashanti Reddy. The girls are spin. Lovely marching and leading the whole school followed by boys are spin. Master Mani Chandra, dedicated and passionate leader, leading the group. Followed by girls games captain, Miss Preetha and boys games captain, MPR Manu Hussain. The stage is set for the housewives march pass led by our head girl, head boy. Girls games captain, boys games captain, red houses games captain. Followed by girls games captain, Shamrock house captain, followed by girls games captain. Red symbolizes the symbol of love, courage, sacrifice, victory and Arshna. The red group boys captain leading that group and some girls and Hansika is leading that group. The red contingent extremely courage and passion in every step. Notice their fiery determination as they lead the way setting the stage for the inspiring march pass. The music elevating the sky with regal grace, confidently to the majestic beat of the band, marching forward in perfect harmony. The boys red group placard leader, Vishwanathan, the girls red group, Miss Hansika. Transitioning seamlessly, we have the green group contingent representing growth and harmony to bring a sense of renewal and freshness to the school crowd. Green group shamrock symbolizes three leaves, stand for faith, hope and love. Fourth leaf is the where we get the luck from. S. Abhinav, the flag bearer leading the boys group and M. Aradhya is the flag bearer leading the girls group. Mabil is the bird bearer for the green group and P. Jessica is the bird bearer for the girls group. The surge in the energy can be felt with every beat of the drum. The music is feeling the steps with vigor and vitality to the pulsating rhythm. Blue bears group represent humility, constancy and gratitude. It refers to the group responsibility. K. Harship is leading the boys group and P. Lipsika is leading the girls group. Following closely behind we have the blue contingent symbolizing trust and stability. The boys blue group placard bearer master K. Shivaraju and girls G. Sanjana. Completing the colorful procession is the yellow contention. Yellow daffodils radiating positivity and enthusiasm, symbolizing hope, renewal, and creativity. Watch as they move gracefully like a fitter stopping book and flag bearer K. Vaishnavi, marching forward, honoring our tradition with every step. Timeless melody of the band, guiding their march with dignity, marching on and embracing the rich history of St. John's. Our head girl with her determination, leading the way, wearing her badge with pride, ready to inspire and guide. Next is our head boy, ready to become a beacon of leadership, strikes alongside her. His vision, reaching beyond the horizon. And next, don't forget, our house captains, the pillars of the respective house, they wear their badge, not as a mere adornment, but as symbols of responsibility. Together, they form a formidable team. As they pass before us, let's applaud their dedication and promise to support them in their noble endeavors. Thank you, dear students. Let the color of unity, passion, hope, and growth guide us as we celebrate leadership and promise a brighter tomorrow. Let's give a huge round of applause, children, for our marchers. We, they made this morning so energetic and lively. Appreciation goes to the management. We thank all our PE masters and teachers, Mr. Prem Reddy sir, Vengat Lakshmi teacher, Mr. Krishna sir and Bhargav sir for their collective effort. It is simply superb children. It is St. John's, the brand institution, its great children. I take this opportunity to congratulate all the new cabinet leaders of today going to become the future leaders. On behalf of the management and staff, I congratulate you all. Heba Tabassum, Manha Zafreen. March for children, please be seated there only. Don't move here. Hey, girls. Hi, Elikiri. Teacher, next. Thank 
you father thank you sisters for honoring them i am delighted to invite our chief guest reverend father r thomas to come forward and address the gathering Well, I am certainly delighted this morning to be here and to be part. Uh, I don't remember having participated in a program like this when I was a student years ago. I guess forty years ago. But anyway, uh, it's wonderful to be here and to see this beautiful atmosphere and uh, this wonderful leadership that's coming up. Um, Reverend sisters, Sister Joseph Mary, um, correspondent and uh, superior of this institution, and uh, Sister Inalo, the principal of St. John's Institutions, and uh, Sister Jacinta, in charge of the primary section, my dear. Parents, parents, teachers, and my dear students, especially the newly elected or selected uh, leaders of this institution. You know, you must be uh, greatly happy this morning that you are elected or selected or appointed as leaders of different uh, groups here. Now it's your responsibility from today on until the end of next academic year that you will be leading, that you will be leading your class, the school and different uh, events that will take place in this institution. Now I remember some years ago, maybe 25 years ago, that I used to come to this institution as, uh, as a director of youth affairs. I was youth director of this diocese, we call it Karimnagar and Warangal uh, districts, the old districts. And then uh, Gandhi Centenary School was there, Telugu Medium School and St. John's English medium, of course, was there. And I used to come every month, practically once a month, and gather all the uh, high school students, YCS and YSM. So there's a movement called YCS, Young Christian Students, and YSM, Young Students Movement. So I used to gather all those uh, uh, students those days and uh, used to take uh, classes, a lot of lessons on leadership. And I remember, I hope some of them uh, may be in very high positions today because of that. And I used to visit so many schools all over, you know, Karim Nagar and Warangal districts. And I know some of them are in high positions because of their leadership. And you know, some, sometimes they may not be really good in studies, they may not be good in other things, but they have become good leaders, leaders of the society, political leaders, social leaders, and maybe uh, cultural uh, leaders, then leaders in different sports and games. So there's so many opportunities where one can become a leader. And today, such an opportunity is given to you, is given to you. You know, you know from where the leadership begins, it begins in the school, right? Leadership begins in the school. So 
it's the responsibility of the management to give you this opportunity, an opportunity to grow, to become as good leaders tomorrow. Right? Tomorrow. So now, now you are all leaders. Now those of you who are sitting in front, and maybe if you in future, all those sitting in the in the in the other areas. Uh, it's important that you use the opportunity. Every opportunity given to you. You know, opportunities come, opportunities are given, right? So use every opportunity to grow, to grow as good leaders. You know, I was observing, you know, the leaders coming here and uh, the pledge that you all uh, recited. You know, one word that was clearly, in, that came in the, in the pledge, loyalty. I will be loyal to my whatever job, right? To my responsibility. Loyal to the school. Loyal to my responsibilities. See, loyalty is very, very important. Unless you are loyal to your school, to your management, to the sisters, to the teachers, and loyal to this institution, you will never grow as good leaders. So loyalty is very, very important. So be loyal to your work, to your responsibilities. And second, secondly, secondly, hard work right leadership is not just to it's not an, an an entertainment leadership is not just a you know a time pass uh, event leadership is something that you have to exercise every single day right every single day so work hard to be a good leader tomorrow you know, unless you work hard, make an effort, a sincere effort every single day in your classroom, you know, in the ground, in the in the in the, in your home at home or anywhere else that you are appointed, that you are that you are sent, be you know, learn to work hard and become a good leader. My dear students, this country, this society the family and uh, you know every religion needs good leaders today right we all unless unless you become good leaders tomorrow's country tomorrow's society will not be a happy place so that's why that's why make use of every opportunity given to you be given to you. Be loyal to your profession, be loyal to your work, be uh, sincere and hardworking as leaders. Right? So, and I am certainly congratulate uh, all the leaders today who are appointed or who are selected or elected that you will do good in your uh, appointment. Okay, be a good leader tomorrow, and and your parents will be happy. The society at large will be a happy one, and tomorrow.